This is the true story of when Sam Roberts came to a red carpet to interview the Miz and Maurice. What's the haps? I love it, man. Uh, that was a very good introduction. That was probably the best introduction I've had since the real world back to New York season 10, 12 years ago. Do you remember what you said to me the last time we spoke? Uh, I said a lot of things to you. I think we talked for like an hour and a half. You told me I had given you a terrible introduction. I love good introductions. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm a fiend for good introductions. Why do you think when I do Miz TV, it has to have like some something that people can get into, something that's snappy, something good? Right. Welcome to the most musty WWE talk show in history. Welcome to Miz TV. I gotta ask you about Miz TV because it's awesome, and I don't mean to use that word. It's quite all right. But that you get to host your own interview segment because you know I know you're a wrestling fan growing up, and as kids, those are like the best part of the TV show. That's what I said. I was like, I want something like Piper's Pit. Like I remember, well, I wanted to ask you though, besides Piper's Pit, what's your favorite? I used segment? to love Brother Love, man. Yes. That used. To, I love you. Uh -huh. I mean, that was. That was my favorite because I just thought he was so annoying, mm -hmm. and uh, you got to love the barber shop. Um, there was just so many. The There's Heartbreak so Hotel. Yeah, the Heartbreak <laughs> Hotel. You name it, there is. I mean, even Highlight Reel, Cutting Edge. Those were always very good. Even the even the, the Peep Show. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, there's so been so many, and it's, I'm just glad that I get a part of it. And it gets to be like on every single show nowadays. And it's like I feel like I've done so many of them now that I'm really grasping the hang of it. Like if you watch Jimmy Fallon his first shows, right. it's like. It's a little tipsy, but now you watch it and you're like, oh my God, this guy is a genius. This guy's amazing. Yeah, so, so somebody has supreme faith in you because not only is it on every show, but it's not like they're putting you in there to make fun of a job or something. They're putting the main event program. We'll put them on Ms. TV. Yeah. My, my, the, uh, last Monday was Daniel Bryan, who is honestly the hottest star in WWE right now, going up against John Cena, the WWE champion, at SummerSlam. So they, both of them were on there, and it did not disappoint. Uh, both of them cut amazing promos on one another. You could feel the emotion for the WWE Championship. It brought uh, a sort of prestige and, uh, and, a, and a loyalty to that WWE Championship. John Cena wants to keep it. Daniel Bryan wants it, so it's just, it's going to create a great match. You brought Maurice with you today. I did. Of course. Why wouldn't I bring my fiance? Well, I have to ask you, do you walk around with Maurice so that everybody knows, no matter what you say about me, this is the woman who's agreed to marry me? Yes. That's exactly why. <laughs> and she's fun to hang out with. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, Maurice, do you listen to the, to the things that fans, quote unquote, say about your fiance? Uh, yes and no. I really don't care. You don't? No. No. I have my own opinion about things and with people really, you know. I'll take the good things yeah. and I'll leave the bad things. I usually tell her, I'll be like, hey, look what this guy wrote about me on Twitter. Uh -huh. He you, thinks I suck. We make She's fun like, you don't suck. Of those He's like, bad comments or negative yeah. comments. We'll turn them into jokes and we're actually. I wish those people could actually hear us talk. I'll go, <laughs> I'll go, I'll go Maurice, this guy thinks I look orange on TV. Did I look orange? And she goes, Eh, a little bit. And I go, thanks. You know, you could have called me and told me, you know, that you look a little orange today. I think I know why you're in love with her. It's that look of disdain that her nose crinkled up when she goes, no, I don't listen to them. Yeah, like, yeah, no. How yeah. dare them really? talk about my man. Yeah. Maurice, you've been gone for how long from WWE? About a year and a half. Two you, years? Is that a year and a half? Two about years. two years. When you end up at an event like this with your fiance, do you miss it or do you like that you can still do stuff like this and have the separation from it? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The second option. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy that separation quite a bit. Yeah. I like having a social life. I like not being on the road 280 days a year and do whatever I want to do and work on other projects, you know? Um, but to be honest with you, I kind of miss the entertaining part of it, being, you know, walking down the ramp, flipping my hair, giving people the hand, kicking people's, uh -uh, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I miss that part, but it comes with, you know, when you leave, it, you have to understand that it's not going to be there. No, you have to leave it there, you know? So, yeah. um, I love my life now. Yeah. Yeah. I would imagine. When you life. When she gets to go home to this, <laughs> it's a pretty good life. <laughs> That's what it is. It's not the, the American dream. Oh, it's yeah. not when you're on the road. It's when you come home, yeah, and exactly. it's like this is, well, I mean, I should talk about people's uh, women. I have my wife, and maybe you have this to look forward to in, in married life. My wife is operating the camera tonight. What are, what are, how romantic. Yeah. You know, like, hey, do you want to go to a party? You want to go out here, dress up tonight. Uh -huh. You know, I'm going to take you out. 
No. Here, can you hold this camera and, and do watch my interviews? Yeah. And, and, then, uh, yeah. and, and I you, guarantee she's going to critique each one, isn't she? She's going to be like, you know, you know that one that you did with that guy? She probably he should. cute. Because you look at the two of us, and my call is, no, no, no. I'll be the on-camera talent. Yeah, you, yeah. you stay behind. You stay Look at behind. this face. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't. I want you to. Can you? Can you work? Can, and 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 I imagine you're going to look at the footage. You're going to. You're going to complain about it. I imagine you're yeah. going to go. You couldn't get. You couldn't get my good side. You really? She's like, I'm five feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> my back hurts. This is your job. Well, Ms. Uh, what did, you're hosting SummerSlam. What does that entail? It, it entails. Everyone's been asking me, what do you do as a host? Did anyone watch WrestleMania when The Rock hosted? It's to keep the show going, keep it entertained, keep it moving, uh, enjoy it, uh, have fun. Uh, and that's what it is. It's basically having the entire WWE universe, the entire SummerSlam audience, just enjoying themselves. And at Staples Centers, whenever you have matches like John Cena versus Daniel Bryan, CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar, Christian versus Alberto Del Rio, that's, that all in itself is going to be entertaining. I'm keeping it in between. I'm going to make it amazing and must-see. What, what, what is your strategy with nerves, and what happens with you? Do you get nervous before? And then I am nervous uh, until I, if you watched me backstage before I go out, I am a nervous wreck. I am talking to myself. I'm going over everything that possibly could happen, which you never know what's going to happen because the WWE Universe, you could go out there and they start chanting something, and you're like, oh, that took a different turn, so I have to go with it. Yeah. So you never know what's going to happen when you go out there. So my nerves are just going, I'm shaking, I have butterflies in my stomach, knots in my throat, but once my music hits and once I enter that stage, it all goes away and it turns into adrenaline and I'm just pumped and uh, Plus, you know, it. you're out there. So whatever's gonna happen, there is- It happens, yeah. it happens. But there has been times, I'm not gonna lie about it, that I froze. The first time I did the diva search- Dude, we've talked, I, I, I love it. She was there, <laughs> I had it written on my arm, like yeah. number, I forgot the number that they were supposed to call. Like I ruined the whole thing, I but- about, I couldn't even speak English. And, but the <laughs> thing is, I've failed more than I've succeeded and I enjoy that. I enjoy my failures because they make me work harder yeah. to have my successes. How long after that uh, divas thing, you messing up, did you start dating Maurice? Uh, I would say like a year, probably okay. about a year afterwards. So there'd been some time where it's like, no, 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 I, I can do some stuff good, I promise. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I'm not really that bad, I promise. Right. But I think she fell in love with me no matter what. As soon as she laid eyes on me, I really think it was love at first sight for her. Nobody couldn't understand anything at So the time. it was just animal attraction. Exactly, I mean, <laughs> I mean look at this put -em. Are you right. kidding me? Right, right, right. Um, I have to ask you, Maurice, real quick before you move on. When Miz is out there and he's doing his Miz TV or he's hosting SummerSlam or doing whatever, are you watching with your breath held, like, please just get through this okay? Or are you like, oh, yeah? No, I'm just, he got, he's got it. Yeah. If there's one person in the company in the WWE that can make it happen, no matter what it is, he's right there, yeah. That's the support that you love. You need That's it. That's the support you need. That's See, what I got to. And you're wondering why I'm marrying her. You gotta marry the woman who has blind faith in faith, you. Complete faith, no matter how bad you are, and how yeah. people, it doesn't matter how much you suck, you were the best, babe. Yeah. Thanks. That's all I needed. I think we're the same type of person. No yeah. matter how many people out there are telling me that I suck, yeah. Jess is like, no, you're great. And I'm you're like, great. I'm great. I'm great. Whatever everyone else says on Twitter or yeah. Facebook or blogs, doesn't matter. <laughs> she thinks, and she's hot. Right. So, I'm lucky. Thanks, Miz. Yeah, thanks, man. Great interview.